Passover starts Wednesday at sundown and here to talk to us about some of the Passover traditions are students from the Ida Crown Jewish Academy's student to student club and their teacher. I'm going to try to go down uh, with the name. So we've got Mrs. Zephyrin. We've got Adina, Noah and Ayelet. All right. OK, Mrs. Zephyrin, first of all, tell us a little bit about the club. So it is a club for Jewish teens to present about their lives as Jewish teenagers in schools with low to no Jewish population. Mm -hmm. And we operate out of Ida Crown Jewish Academy. So these are all students from Ida Crown Jewish Academy, which is a modern Orthodox co-ed high school in Skokie. And we're so glad to have you all in studio up bright and early this Sunday morning. Ayelet, uh, for people who are not familiar, talk to us about the story of Passover. Yeah, so Passover is the holiday that commemorates God freeing the Jewish people from slavery in Egypt and and um, bringing the Jewish people to become a nation. Noah, what are some of the traditions? So on the first night of Passover, we'll have a Pesach Seder, a Passover Seder. So that's really like a big meal for a lot of family to get together. And you kind of just talk about the story of Passover and everything that happened. And there's a bunch of really cool traditions that families have that really just adds the experience of the Seder. OK, so Adina, you guys brought a plate. What, what are some of the items on the plate? Yeah, so on this plate, we have a bunch of different um, symbolic foods. Mm -hmm. So we have two foods here that represent the bitterness of slavery. Um, this is like bitter horseradish or bitter herbs. And then we also have a, like a bitter kind of lettuce. So most people use like romaine lettuce. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have a spring vegetable. Like today we brought parsley because Passover usually happens in the spring. And we always dip this in salt water to represent the tears that the Jewish people cried while they were in slavery. Um, and then next we have two foods that represent the sacrifices the Jewish people used to bring in the temple in ancient times. So this egg um, is a symbol of birth and renewal, and it's also representative of the sacrifice that they used to bring on Passover. Then we have a lamb bone, which is another sacrifice that was really important as a part of the Passover celebration. Um, we don't eat it today. Mm -hmm. And the last food we have is called haroset. Um, and it's a mixture of like apples and cinnamon and nuts. And it looks like the mortar that the Jewish people would use to build with when they were enslaved. Um, and it also tastes really sweet to remind us of the sweetness of freedom. Oh, Adina, you did a great job explaining that. Noah, what is your absolute favorite uh, Passover tradition? Um, for me, I really like that we have a tradition where the youngest member of the family says these four questions because it's a big concept on Passover to really be able to tell over the story to different generations. So the youngest person at the Passover Seder will ask these four questions because there's a lot of different things that we do on Passover that are different than the rest of the year. So when they're able to ask these questions, it's really cool to be able to give them the answers to things that they don't know about. And you really are able to see how they're growing up because as they grow up, then someone else will be able to ask the question. How about you, Ayla? Um, I like the tradition where before Passover, we try to identify a struggle that we have in our own life and try to work to overcome it in the next year to like exemplify what the Jewish people went through back in, when they were slaves in Egypt and try to um, kind of have our own exodus from whatever's holding us back. Mm. Mrs. Zephyrin, you got to be really proud of these students, right? Definitely. You guys did a great job. Great job. Thank you all for joining us this morning. And for more information on the Ida Crown Jewish Academy, you can visit ICJA.org. Also check them out on Facebook and Instagram.